What changed about Nexus was last year in the summer of 2018, the Supreme Court came out with a Wayfair decision, which drastically changed the landscape of what constitutes Nexus for sales tax and possibly all tax purposes. Specifically, in the Wayfair decision, the Supreme Court found that merely economic contacts with the state were sufficient to establish Nexus. Specifically, in that case, just having $100,000 of sales in a state or 200 separate transactions were sufficient contacts with the state to allow the state to force you to collect sales tax on your sales into the state. Currently, of the 46 states and the District of Columbia that actually impose a sales tax, over 40 of these jurisdictions now have some sort of interpretation or some sort of provision related to Wayfair and establishing economic nexus for sales taxes. So it took about a year and most states have now jumped on that bandwagon as a means of collecting sales tax from out of state remote sellers. One thing to keep in mind that these Wayfair and economic nexus provisions relate not just to remote sellers, but to all types of companies that may have sales across state lines. So they are much broader than many people initially believe they, them to be.